Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 2nd of exercise 9.1. The question says a tree breaks due to storm and the broken part bends so that the top of the tree touches the ground making an angle 30 degree with it. The distance between the foot of the tree to the point where the top touches the ground is 80 meet, 8 meters. You have to find the height of the tree. So, there is a tree which should be vertical to the ground, means this should be straight, and this part is broken due to storm, and this part is bent and it touches the ground. So, this is same as this part. Now, it is given that and this part is uh, making an angle of 30 degree with the ground. So, this angle of elevation must be 30 degree and it is also given that the point where it touches the ground and the distance between this foot is given to you as 8 meters. You have to find the height of the tree. So, you have to find this complete height of the tree and this is equals to this height plus this height and this is same as this because this same part has been bent. So, you have to find the value of this height and plus you have to find the value of this and which is same as this. So for that, first of all, if I see or you can say if I solve for hypotenuse or sorry, uh, perpendicular and the between base. So for between perpendicular and base, I have the ratio which is 10, 10 theta. This is equal to perpendicular upon base and theta is given to you as 30 degree. And perpendicular, let's suppose the height here, this perpendicular is h meters and base given to you as 8 meters. Now, the value of 1030 is, we already know, is equal to 1 by root 3. So, if I cross multiply this, the value of height will be equal to 8 upon root 3. This is same, this 8 will be shifted here and this will become 8 upon root 3 and the height here will be equals to 8 upon root 3. Now, I know the value of this and I have to find the value of this hypotenuse. For that, I can use the ratio for sin theta because sin theta is equal to perpendicular upon hypotenuse and sin theta will be equals to perpendicular upon hypotenuse and theta again is given to you as 30 degree perpendicular here is again h meters and the value of h here is 8 by root 3 so instead of perpendicular what I can write is 8 by root 3 and this is all upon hypotenuse which we have suppose as x meters now the value of sin theta again we know that is equals to 1 by 2 and this will become 8 upon root 3 and this will become 1 upon x. This value, uh, this is the main upon and this value when shifted to uh, or you can say when this uh, value multiplied with this value it should get reciprocal means denominator must become numerator and numerator must become denominator and x can be written as x by 1 and so this will become 1 upon x when shifted to the de denominator now if i cross multiply this x root 3 will become 16 this x root 3 will be shifted to this side and 2 when multiplied with x will be uh, with 8 will become 16 so the value of x here will be equals to 16 upon root 3 now 
we know the value of x as 16 upon root 3 we know the value of h as 8 upon root 3 and we have to find the height of this tree that should be equal to the height of this which is x and this is h if I name this triangle this will be a b c and d and the height of triangle sorry the height of tree is a d which is equals to a c plus c d and the height will be equals to a c which is h and the value of h is 8 by root 3 so this will be 8 by root 3 and c d will be 16 by root 3 now if I take the LCM because denominators are same so this will become 8 upon 16 16 plus 8 will be 24 and this will become 24 upon root 3 so this will be the height now one thing is important whenever there is a number with under root in the denominator for solving this you have to rationalize this without rationalizing the solution will become very hectic or you can say very tough so if I rationalize this this will be uh, rationalizing means you have to multiply with this as well as you have to divide with this same value and this will become 24 root 3 and root 3 is multiplied by root 3 is 3 and this will be 8 so this complete height will be equals to 8 root 3 so this complete height will be equals to 8 root 3 so this is how you can solve this particular question if you substitute the value of root 3 as 1.73 and you multiply 8 with 1.73 you will get your answer is in decimals so this is how you can solve this second question if you like this video please subscribe to our channel and if you have any problem in maths you can directly contact to us the phone number the email address and the whatsapp number is given below in the description thank you